up and Jean Moreau searches for meaning in her marriage in La Notte. I'm Robert Osborne. I'm back with our guest programmer for this month, man who certainly made his mark as a filmmaker, continues to do so every time he works. Welcome back, William Friedkin. Thanks, Robert. Nice to have you here. Always great to see you and especially to be on the show with Thank you. Thank you. Now, this next film that he's chosen for us is Belle du Jour, a drama from Spanish filmmaker Louis Buñuel. Now, this is quite an interesting movie, very offbeat, very adult. Why did you pick this particular movie? Belle de Jour um, is from a novel that was written in 1928 by a, a then very uh, popular novelist named Joseph Kessel. Bunuel made this film in 1966 and 67. Bunuel is one of the fathers of surrealism. Uh, the two probably uh, most prominent names associated with surrealism are Salvador Dali and Bunuel. So Bunuel's earlier films are very experimental for their time. Belle de Jour is a straight-ahead story about a woman who is very much in love with her husband, but not satisfied in their sexual relationship for, a re for reasons that go unexplained for a long time. They seem to have a wonderful marriage other than <laughs> in bed. Uh -huh. And what you learn is that she has these secret longings to be brutalized and to be treated like a prostitute and have sex with strangers. This is her fantasy. She's an otherwise bourgeois French woman. The title Belle de Jour would probably be best be translated into English as a woman of the night. But it, it really means a woman of the day because she goes during the daytime when her husband is at work as a doctor. She goes to this house of prostitution and becomes a prostitute and finds her only release in terms of sex with these very strange characters who come to this house. And the way Bunuel handles this film is he takes you into the mind's eye of this woman. You understand her perfectly. And as she's played by Deneuve, while it, it's at first shocking to see, to find out, what her uh, inner fantasies are, she takes you into this world with her. The film is both sexy uh, and it's um, very exciting, obviously, and you don't know how it's going to turn out. It turns out very surprisingly. No one will be able to predict the way this film ends, but you've got to pay attention. Yes. I will say this about no other film that I've presented or even that I've seen on TCM. You've got to pay attention to this. By the time the last scene comes out, the key to it is on the soundtrack. Just remember that. The key to the end of this film is not totally clear except on the soundtrack when everything suddenly becomes clear. And I found it, though it's made by a master, the great Spanish director, Luis Buñuel. Um, I, I find it to be one of the great, unpredictable, definitive films of all time. Well, one can say no more than that. We have to see this movie now. Here are the cast. It also includes Jean Sorel, chosen by our guest programmer for this month, William Friedkin. From 1967, here's Belle de Jour.